hello welcome back to my channel or welcome if you're new my name is kayla and today i have for you five different dark academia aesthetic inspired outfits hey guys hello hello i hope you are all doing well so today i have for you five different dark academia aesthetic outfits now i am by no means an expert on this aesthetic i am just merely someone who very much appreciates it and casually participates in it i am somebody who often incorporates parts of this aesthetic into my everyday looks but i also incorporate a lot of other things into my everyday looks but for these outfits i did try to stick strictly to the whole dark academia aesthetic and i hope i did the aesthetic proud if you guys are part of this like world i would love to hear some feedback and i would also love to know some other aesthetics that you guys would like to see me style some outfits for if you guys end up enjoying this video but before we get into this video don't forget to pause go down below and hit the subscribe button it's totally free and i'll let you know when i upload new videos which is every single monday unless i have a crazy weekend and then i go up on wednesday and now without further ado let us jump in okay so before we jump into the outfits let's talk about what dark academia is in the first place so i have pulled up here aesthetics.fandom.com so according to this website dark academia is an aesthetic that revolves around classic literature the pursuit of self-discovery and a general passion for knowledge and learning i love this i love all of these things i will say that apparently there has been some controversy surrounding this aesthetic it seems like anytime there is an aesthetic that becomes really popular there is some sort of controversy i definitely know that there was some controversy surrounding the cottage core aesthetic this one seems to have been encouraging some classicist elitist attitudes not cool um i think you know everyone deserves respect and should be treated equally so yeah definitely not something that should be done also it says here that um, people were sacrificing sleep, relationships, mental health, and hygiene for study. I will admit, I definitely did this in college. And I think a lot of people do this in college. But again, definitely not something that I am encouraging here at all. So let us all be really kind to ourselves and to others. I think that's really important. And I think that's something that I have always stood for and hope that you guys get from my videos. So I did want to mention it really quickly because I didn't want to just go into this video without saying hey, take care of yourself, especially with these types of controversies, I guess. Now, moving away from that and back toward fashion. So according to this website and from what I've read in the past, the aesthetic really stems from 1940s prep school uniforms. It also plays on this very Eurocentric sort of historical literary vibe. So a lot of the outfits are drawing inspiration from different literature um, or from history. A lot of them play with that sort of gothic-y feel with the darker tones. The color palette here is black, gray, brown, beige, cream, ivory dark green, burgundy, and soft yellow. I added in for this a sort of like a mustard yellow and rust orange. I don't know if it's necessarily 100% a part of it, but I happen to like those colors within this aesthetic. I think it works really well, especially for the fall time. I will leave this website linked down below and there is a comprehensive list of the different types of clothing that are involved within this aesthetic and it breaks it down from top, bottoms, outerwear, shoes, and accessories. There are also a ton of other things listed here. So sports activities and video games and books and literature and music. So if you're really interested in like deep diving into this aesthetic and being more attuned to it, this might be something fun for you to sort of look at. But one thing that I did want to note and something that this website actually says as well is that all of this is just a quote unquote guideline. None of it is meant to be restrictive. And the whole idea is for you to show your personality and be your own individual, even with taking part in an aesthetic. Now let's get to the five outfits. Okay, outfit number one. So this outfit, I know it's the first one, but like this is what I'm wearing today. And I do think it might be my favorite outfit out of all of them in the video. I know it's like right out the gate, but like, man, I love skirts and dresses. I feel so pretty in them. So for this outfit, which like I said, I do believe is my favorite. We're gonna start from the bottom. I have these really beautiful, like sort of reddish brown toned leather slip on heeled mules. Now I will say they don't stay on my feet super well with tights on. So I think what I'm going to actually do is attempt to sew on a piece of black elastic 
elastic around the ankle so that it will just like hold my foot into the shoe a little bit better and hopefully that'll work we'll have to see i thrifted these a few weeks ago i actually did a dark academia thrift with me video you guys can check that out up here which by the way Thanks for all the support on that video. Whoa, I was very confused. I did thrift these in that video and I absolutely love them. I just gotta find a way to help them stay on my feet. Then the next thing I have on are a pair of opaque black tights. This skirt, my favorite thing that I've thrifted in a long time is this skirt. I love it so much. I know it seems like such a simple thing to love so much, but man, I just think it's so cute and it fits really well. And I love the print and I don't know, I saw it on Poshmark and it was immediately like, I need that skirt in my life right now. So <laughs> I picked it up. It was a little more expensive than I like really wanted to spend on a thrifted skirt, but I loved it so much I was willing to spend the coin. This is originally from Banana Republic. This is in a size 14, but I did add a dart on the side. So on average, I'm anywhere from a 10 to a 14. Normally I go up when thrifting and I can't try things on because most of the time you can make things work if they're a tiny bit oversized. And like I said, so this one was, and luckily I have some sewing experience. So I was able to add a small dart. It's taken in about an inch. So for reference, if you end up finding this skirt, it does fit very true to size, so something to keep in mind. Now, moving on up, I have this black sweater that I borrowed from my mom. I don't actually know where it's from, but all the brands of everything will be left down below. That way you guys can try to thrift some of these pieces yourself. It's honestly just a really comfy, super soft black crew neck sweater. It's got some cute little gems on it, which might not really like fit the most with the dark academia aesthetic. Then underneath it, I have on a white colored tank top. Hot tip, get a colored or a like mock neck tank top for layering. I have found over the past few years that it is just so much easier to do layering and so much more comfortable to do layering when whatever you're putting on underneath isn't super bulky. So one way that you can really achieve that layer look and for it to still look very put together is to put a tank top on the bottom layer. So that's what I'm doing here. I just have on this white tank top colored shirt that I actually found in my garage the other day. Then for my hair, I just put it in half up, half down. I feel like that's a super academic look. It's also the way I wear my hair pretty much every day of my life. And then for jewelry, I kept it pretty plain, pretty simple, just basic rings. I have on this little fake gold and fake diamond bracelet that I'm pretty sure is from Avon. And then I have on these little beaded earrings that I just made for myself because I like cute little beaded earrings. And for my necklace, this is actually antique. I went antiquing a few weeks back with my friend Brianna and picked up this cute little necklace. Now, this outfit as is, is super cute, but it does look like that sort of blazer look it is very in for the dark academia aesthetic. So let's throw on a blazer. So this is from the brand Sag Harbor. It is just a nice sort of oversized, what I call a casual blazer because it's lacking in that stiff tailored structure and it is just very like loose and flowy and light in material. There's really not a lot of starching. It's not super stiff at all. So I like to call it a casual blazer. Yes, I do know that it is not the same shade of brown as the other browns going on in the skirt and in the shoe, but I actually think that looks really nice. The same with interior design. When you're putting together an outfit, I actually think it makes it look a little bit more elevated and sophisticated when you mix different shades of the same color family. So I'm happy with doing a lighter brown to go with the darker brown. And then the last bit of accessory is just sewing on a cute little backpack. It's just a fake leather backpack that my mom gave to me many, many, many moons ago. And this, my dears, is the final one. Okay, so for outfit number two, we are sticking with the tights theme. So I have on here these black tights still, and then with it, I have on these very dirty still. I said this like weeks ago that I need to clean these shoes off, and I just haven't done it. These are some brown loafers with some silver hardware on them that I picked up at Target a few years ago. I absolutely love loafers. They're one of my favorite things ever. Another option for a shoe for this outfit would be Oxfords. I actually did just thrift a pair on Poshmark 
ones and I just haven't gotten here yet. So if I had them, I probably would have put those on instead because I think that Oxford shoes would work for this outfit. I did go for these loafers, which I think work just as well. Then moving on up, I have on this very cute, I guess you could call this like sort of a pinafore dress. It's not really. It's like sort of like that button up, almost pinafore, sort of tighter dress. I really don't know what the style is, but this is from American Eagle last season. It's got pockets, which bless, and it is just so flippin' cute. Now, the plaid pattern is actually medium tone brown and navy blue instead of black, but I think from like a distance you can't really tell it's navy blue, plus it's still quite a dark color. And then underneath it, I put on this mustard color, it's like a very dark mustard colored Victorian inspired mock neck shirt from Target. It's got the lettuce leaf hem all the way around it, and because it's around the collar, it seems a little Victorian inspired. Now, now, I did keep all of the accessories the same except for this purse. Again, leather accessories I think are the move, or fake leather accessories I think are the move when it comes to this aesthetic. So I do have this sort of bohemian inspired purse that I paired with it. So it's got the black leather and then this part is actually like a brown woven material and then a like faux marble like bullhorn type of thing. But I thought that it looked really cute and that it sort of married the whole outfit together, bringing the blacks and browns all together in one place. So yeah, I think this is like a super cute outfit and also it takes very few pieces so it is a bit more achievable. Yeah, I mean any type of t-shirt underneath a glad dress, I think can do the trick. So yeah, this is this look. I think it's super freaking cute. And now, moving on outfit number three. Okay, so for this outfit, I need you guys to use your imagination a little bit. So I have actually not been able to find a sweater vest literally anywhere, and it's honestly killing me a little bit inside. I haven't been able to find one that I really love. So because I haven't been able to find one, I am using here a tank top instead. I actually think this works. Honestly, like I don't think it looks weird or bad in any way, shape, or form. So I just have on, this is a corduroy collared shirt. It's actually like Looney Tunes. I don't know if I can like pop that out over here, but it's like a Looney Tunes shirt that I thrifted a few years ago. And it is just a nice button up collared shirt. It is really thick and really cozy and warm. So this would be a great outfit, especially on those cooler days. And then over top of that, I have this caramel brown colored tank top that is actually a peplum top, but since it's tucked in, you can't really tell. And this is from Target this season, actually. And I actually, like I said, I think this actually works and I think it's kind of cute, like high key. I think it's, it's kind of cute. Um, and then for the pants, I just have on some nice tailored plaid dress pants that have that sort of, it's, I, I think it might be orange, but I think it, because they're so close to each other, they look like they might be the same color. And because it's like mixed in with so many other colors in the pants, you can't really tell that it's orange as opposed to the sort of camely brown color. And plaid trousers are all the rage in the dark academia aesthetic. So I knew I needed to do at least one outfit with them. There is another outfit with plaid pants coming up, but I knew I wanted to use especially these pants, which again, I thrifted in that dark academia thrift with me video which I just think these are so perfect. They fit really nicely around the waist after I brought them in a little bit. And then they have that sort of like baggier, oversized look on the leg, which is something that I've been dying to try out. And turns out I really like how it looks. And then for my shoes, I just have on these black fuzzy loafers. Again, so the whole idea is like academic professionalism sort of look. And I just think that loafers look very professional. Now these ones, are not super professional because they have fur on them. However, I think this is a fun way to sort of insert some of your personal style with the shoes. Then for an accessory, again, I'm bringing on a backpack. I just have this cute tan backpack that I got at H&M like maybe five or six years ago now. And then you can grab yourself a good book. So the book I'm actually currently reading is The Witches. This is the historical account of the Salem Witch Trials which I thought would be an interesting read during spooky season. <laughs> you know, voila, you look very academic and cute. Okay, so for outfit number four, we're talking another option with color. So I feel like while there is a lot of neutral tones in the dark academia aesthetic, some people just like color, myself included in that. So I wanted to give a couple of options where there's actually color involved, albeit not a lot of color, <laughs> but color nonetheless. So for this outfit, I have on those same black fuzzy loafers. 
Then moving on up, I have these plaid pants that I literally love so much. These are from Abercrombie actually, which this, I bought these before, I, I think before the whole Selena Gomez drama came out and before we learned so many terrible things about their company. Um, but these are a good handful of years old at this point. You might be able to thrift them, which would totally be dope because these are the most comfortable pants ever. They have a great silky lining on the inside and I just think they're really cute. I also really love this like maroon pinstripe down the side, which is the color we're going with. It's sort of that maroony wine color. So as we move up, I have on underneath this cardigan a, I think it's like a wine-ish sweater. Now this sweater I actually got at H&M two years ago at the end of the season. So actually it might have been last year. No, it was two years ago at the end of the season. So I don't know if you're gonna be able to find it, but you might be able to find something really similar to it. It has this really cute sort of lace detail around the neck and then like I said just this really dark shade of red on the sweater now I put on a black cardigan over top of it because I felt like cardigans if you're not wearing a blazer a cardigan is the move in dark academia because it gives you that sort of like a, again student look now for the cardigan I buttoned a few buttons on the bottom and then tucked it in and left it a little bit more open on the top this cardigan I picked up at Burlington actually a few weeks ago, so very cute. The sleeves of the sweater are actually a little bit puffy, so because I was putting on a tighter fitting cardigan over top of it, I actually used the cardigan to sort of push the puffiness up to the wrist to create sort of a cute, intricate looking wrist cuff around your wrist. <laughs> now for accessories, we're throwing it back to this black backpack that my mom gave me some years ago, and also a good book. So this is Rebecca and literally I just picked it because it matches the outfit so well. It is also a very old book. This book is from 1945, my friends. Anyway, I just think that this is a really cute outfit. I think that this is a good option for somebody who wants to add a little bit more color than the neutral tones by adding some dark maroon reddish wine color into it. You know what? I did say that that first outfit was my favorite, but now that I'm wearing this one all together, I think this one's my favorite. Um, I don't know, man. This is cute. So I actually recently thrifted this skirt as well um, because I'm preparing to do a dressing like Audrey Hepburn for a week video, and there are a few times where she wears a skirt like this. And I knew I had to pick it up. I think I got it for like eight bucks, ten bucks, something like that. And it fits like a freaking gem. It literally fits like it was made for me. And I absolutely love it. So I have this skirt on. It is a really beautiful like light tan color. And then in a different shade of brown, I have on the same loafers with the silver hardware. Then I have brought back the color and sweater combination from the first outfit. But this time I added some suspenders on top. This is a very like vintage-y sort of inspired look and I think that's probably why I like it so much. But I thought that the suspenders added a cute sort of like vintage touch and wow, love that for me. <laughs> and while I don't actually need the suspenders to keep the skirt up, I did think that they added a fun sort of vintage-y touch and I don't know, I don't really often style suspenders but I felt like this was a fun time to try it out. So then on a cooler day if you need a coat I have this really great Newport News easy style coat so this is 55% wool and 45% viscose and then the inside is 100% polyester this is actually a size 16 but fits like a glove like I could not go down a size this is the perfect fit and I feel like this jacket just does it it like really solidifies the dark academia in this look I don't know. I like it so much. It's a very formal, it's got that collar. This has a herringbone pattern on it as opposed to houndstooth, which is super popular within the dark academia aesthetic. But I think like from a distance, you can't really tell. And also honestly, it's the same vibe. It's giving you that sort of almost tweed look, which is very academic and very much very popular within the dark academia aesthetic. And then for a purse, I just have my lovely grandmother's old purse so I'm really playing with that silver hardware in this look and I just feel like this look is very cute and very vintage and 
I very much love it. And you know what? I'm actually gonna keep this on for the rest of the day instead of that other outfit. <laughs> All right, you guys, I hope you enjoyed that video. If you did, don't forget to give this video a thumbs up. Also subscribe down below. It is totally free and I'll let you know when I upload new videos every single Monday, unless I have a crazy weekend and then they go up on Wednesday. I had so much fun doing this video and I actually feel like every time I do this sort of like styling outfits videos, I find a new outfit that I'm just absolutely in love with. And for this time around, I found several new outfits that I really, really love, but especially the outfit I'm wearing right now with the tan skirt and this sort of sweater collared situation with the suspenders. I would love to do more videos like this, but with other aesthetics. So if you yourself are part of a different aesthetic and want to see me try to style some outfits within that aesthetic, let me know down below what it is and I will happily do some research and try to put together to the best of my abilities some outfits that I feel like could work within that aesthetic. Like I said, I am not an expert on dark academia, but I am a casual participant and always admirer of the aesthetic. So if you yourself are a avid wearer of the dark academia aesthetic, I would love to have some constructive, kind criticism. I am quite fragile, so I would love for it to just be like constructive and kind if we could. But anyway, thanks so much for all of the love and support that you guys have been showing lately. It's meant so freaking much to me. I honestly can't even explain to you like what it, what it means to me. I've been on YouTube for like seven years and this is the first time I've ever had a video hit over 5,000 views. So thank you so, so much for all the support that um, you guys have been showing on some of my recent videos. It's like I said, truly meant so, so much to me. Um, anyway, don't forget it costs absolutely nothing to be kind, so be nice to one another and to yourself. Don't forget to register to vote and pay attention to local elections as well as federal elections, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye!